So I was sitting in my room drinking coffee and watching YouTube videos until I remembered a story back from when I was in Florida. This is just another little fun story and I've decided to do one because, well, my last video where I've done story time has reached more than 5 likes. As a matter of fact, it kind of reached more than double the amount. And so I thought, you know what? Why not just make another video on it? So, what has happened is I was back in Florida. I was just sitting in my house chilling with the guys. <laughs> I know this might sound a little weird, but yeah, I was sitting with the guys, chilling with them. We were just doing whatever. And then one of the dudes there decided, hey, uh, there's another house here. And again, if you guys uh, don't know, so it was just a bunch of people who have invited me and a couple of other friends to go to Florida. And we got like separate houses. We got, we rented like five different houses for like a bunch of different people. And so what happened then was our house was like, hey, how about let's just kidnap their house? And we were extremely bored. Like, and by bored, I mean, we were extremely bored. There was legit no internet, no nothing. So the guy's like, hey, how about let's just kidnap them at night and then just throw them in the pool. And if you guys don't know what the pool is back in Florida, it's basically a tiny little green spot. Like, legit, where snakes and cockroaches and lizards and frogs are, and it's like green and moldy. It's really gross. But then everyone just agreed to do so, and then we teamed up with another house, and since we had a really, really small car, there was a maximum of five people could fit in there, which is the driver, the passenger, and three in the back. So, but there was like seven of us, and there was this one extremely fat dude who took up almost two spaces. He got to sit in the passenger's, of course the car was leaning to that side and then like four other guys sat in the back and then I had no place to go and so I'm like hey you know what forget this I'm just gonna use the longboard so what I did is I grabbed the longboard I placed it in the back and I just held on to the back of the car now keep in mind I'm not really good at longboarding in general but <laughs> there were many times I almost fell off so what happened later then is we drove to the other house it wasn't really far it was like a block maybe two away and so I was just standing there hoping I won't fall off on that long board. I barely stood there. There were times where, like, especially during the turns where I almost just got dragged the entire way. And so, as we got there, the two guys there were just standing there and wrestling legit. They were beating the crap out of each other. They were just punching for no reason. And then when, like, we came and asked what happened... They're like, okay, he disrespected me, and I'm like, oh, nice, because that house, the way they handle things is by wrestling and beating the crap out of each other. Yes, completely normal. And then later on is, this was all at 9, and we were planning to leave at 12. So we were standing there, the people got uh, some, I don't know what they're called, but it's like you spray, and it's like strings like shoot out, I think it's called slow string, something like that, I don't know. But we had all of those, and then since I am in the little bomb master, I've decided to make some smoke bombs and some stink bombs. This was really came really handy. In fact, the stink bomb I made was the one off the deep web. It was a stink bomb smoke bomb. It could cover up an entire block. It was, it's really powerful. And we're just going to use this all in the house. But of course, you have to light it and everything, so it's going to be cancerous. And then I, of course, made some stink bombs by grabbing some hair and... Uh, rubber bands and wrapping in a piece of paper and then grabbing the fuse. That's all we did. And it stinks a lot, guys. You could try it yourselves. And you just light it, and as soon as it hits all that, it, it smells like cancer. So then what happens later is we go to that house, we get in the car, and that house is far away. It's like a 10 minute drive. Well, to us, it's far away. And since the other guys had a sprinter, a sprinter is like a giant. It's like a really huge van that they had. It was really nice. It was really comfortable. It's like a giant bus. Everyone fit in there. No one had to use a long board. And then we, and then this is what we got. We were all dressed in dark. Of course, I was wearing my mask. And then we all had like bags and ropes. So immediately, what we did is, since that house was like for some reason really rich, it's the one where Mr. Rich uh, did the dollar burning thing, the rich man's roulette. And, of course, they had cameras on that house, and, of course, like, we used the little string thing to shoot out the cameras, or at least just cover everything up. And then their house, we knew the code to it, it like, had a little lock on the door, 
but like it, you could also import the code into it so that way you could just type in the code and the house will unlock but we knew the code it wasn't really that difficult uh, the guys there were just had really big mouths and they were just talking about it and everything and then what happened is we just got that and very very stealthily only three guys walked in while others were just in the went behind the house to make sure that no one would want to do anything and of course we grabbed pillows because uh yes just keep in mind we we're gonna beat them up with pillows if anything trust me there's this one guy there let's just call him hercules he can use a pillow like a i don't know a baseball bat he could really beat you up with it when he smacked me with it legit like after that one hit with it like i received so much bruises on my face and like lights flashed it, it was it was really bad he almost knocked me out <laughs> with just a pillow yes i know very embarrassing but keep listening this is just really so we got gave him the pillow and a couple of other buff guys there and they were just following me because i was in charge of the well i wasn't in charge of it but like i was going to be the one to sneak in there because that's what mr uh, satan there said and yes satan is the guy that got the whole operation in motion and then eventually so we just get into the house very stealthily and as we thought that we were just gonna tie the guy up in his sleep and then just throw him in the back of our sprinter immediately what happens is we were get beaten up across the face with pillows yes they knew we were coming for some reason they somehow knew that we were coming so what we did is I the guy was really short he was like I don't know what four foot maybe like five foot two maybe five foot four maximum he was really short so what I do is like we forgot all about the ropes we just I just grabbed the stink bombs I threw it in the kitchen lit it a couple of cockroaches scattered all over the place then in the middle of the living room we lit the smoke bomb it was extremely smoky in the house it smelled really bad too and so we grabbed the guy we got him out and then we just egged their house really bad we just threw like I don't know a dozen of eggs at their house and then we threw the guy there and in the sprinter they just covered him up and then the guy sat in their car while we sat in our sprinter and then of course Satan there just drove away like a maniac well not as a maniac but like he le like a legal maniac this is Florida okay almost everything there is legal but yeah so we were just driving we got back to our house uh, Mr. Hercules and a couple of other people over there just backed him up and they eventually uh, left so they left for like I don't know 15 minutes like they I'm not they didn't even go back to their house and so what we did is we tied up the guy we threw him in a pool he was uh, surrounded by frogs and cockroaches it was really disgusting and of course I was the dude they're just standing there laughing like a little hypocrite yes because like I really hate I'm not even sure what I meant by that but so I was just standing there and just laughing. We were laughing. He was like, he was neck deep in the pool, and there was like snakes and cockroaches and frogs and everything in there. It was gross. Oh, uh, it, it kind of, it's kind of painful to even imagine that to me. But yeah, and then of course, 15 minutes later, they come back and then they just like beat the crap out of us, take the guy, drive away, uh, leave stink bombs in our house and so it turned out just like a little reflection thing so we got stinked and smoked well not smoked because the smoke bombs they made us they just put baby powder into eggs and that as you guys know does not create too much smoke but yeah that's all they did the house wasn't as smoky as theirs their house was legit you couldn't see a thing and so what happened is they just they drove him away, I'm not sure what happened afterwards, and then that's when we had our fun for the night. Then we all just drank some coffee, had the rest of the night to ourselves, just had lots of more fun, did whatever. But yeah, it was really fun. Again, guys, thank you very much for supporting my last video. It got more than, no, it didn't get more than 5 likes. It didn't get more than 7 likes. It got more than 10 likes. So what I'm going to ask is... If this video can get more than 7 likes, I'll be really happy. And also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Tumblr. Speaking of Facebook, there's another story I have. It's back when I had a little Facebook stalker. It was not good. There was someone, well, technically stalking, quote-unquote, me on Facebook. It was, it's really creepy. That's a completely different story. But again, follow me on those websites. Thank you. Subscribe. This channel's been doing really good. I just want to thank all of you guys for your support. You are all the best. Thank you guys for watching this video. See you in another one. Peace out.